beautiful is the pollen. The pollen, light and soft and just full of life. The amber of its shade, just so bright, as if an artist, lavish and reckless, splattered his colors with a sigh so helpless. But what is noticed first is the cling of the pollen to insects that witness the earthly wonders, the ones who float and flutter in the air. It hugs their fur and begs for a trip to the unknown and beyond where they can finally ride and fly till the engine settles on another victim nearby or even float on their own when the winds feel like the time has come to shed their anger and fury. But alas, few are lucky to enjoy the views of the trip they crave. Others, as written on their heads, embrace the soil as they accept their fate to accompany and lighten up their forefathers who faced the same till their end. The Polans were the spark of a dazzling life is seen. The powdery grains made of velvet appear as fairy dust to all those who dream. But what they really looked like are questions that hunted down man and thus he took quite a few or even more to catch a glimpse of what his eye could not. And lo and behold, what he saw could not be recited through poems like this, but I'll convey anyhow on how they looked like rounded nuts all carved so good. And when he fed it a sugary fluid or gave it the heavenly water from the trees that could withstand the wind's fury, the pollen sprang into action but realized it had no arms to ask for more. And so the pollen grew a long hand and man, not realizing its craving, gave the tube a name of course. These pollen greens show the ones, those who cannot believe in themselves, that everyone has a purpose in life, that your looks don't decide your worth.